So we gotta do a take down first, okay? We gotta get the we gotta get the club, the collar tie, okay? Right okay. here, yeah, collar tie. And we're gonna fight to get this arm, okay, this hand inside, and grab the tricep here. And usually the person will try to reach you like your hand. Yeah, like this. Okay? So what are you gonna do here? We're gonna keep on this position. And now um, we gotta pay attention on the legs of our opponent. Okay? So sometimes your opponent will be with, with the legs like this, like squared up. Sometimes, let's say you put this like that. Yeah, sometimes it's gonna be like this or with the other leg. Okay? So usually they're gonna keep this leg back like this. Okay? That's the position. Right? Uh, both of us can, can uh, shoot a takedown right here. But I need to make sure that I have my forearm right on her trap right here. Okay? So I don't keep my forearm. Like this, okay? So close my form, really close to her neck. And now look, I'm gonna control right behind her arm, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna step, pivot my left leg and make Raphael like squared up, like this, okay? From here, pivot, okay? So as I pivot right here, I'm gonna put a lot of weight on her neck and head, and I'll force her to keep the legs on the floor, okay? So you gotta, you gotta understand this. You gotta keep it squared up. Squared up like this. Yeah. Once you squared up your opponent right here, you're gonna change the level, okay? And you're gonna almost touch the knee that's behind right here, my left leg in this case. Almost on the floor, you don't need to touch on the floor, okay? It's almost. And think about bringing the chest of your opponent against this leg right here, like this, okay? Super heavy. And as you do that, your opponent will be uncomfortable, and your opponent wants to pop the head up, okay? Let go. Pop the head up, and that's when I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna let go and shoot. So when I shoot, I'm gonna drop my knee on the floor, and I'll hug her legs, okay? So I go here, like this. But I'm not, I'm not simply like hug the legs and keep my elbows open, okay? It's very important when you hug the legs to close your elbows and you wanna keep both knees together like this, okay? So I'm gonna grab and then I'll lock my elbow like this, okay? I need to squeeze her knees together, okay? Because now it's hard for your opponent to jump close guard, okay? Or uh, to try to scroll. Okay? So if you keep your elbow open, it's easier for her to open the legs wide and then it's hard for you to take now. And it's easy for her opponent to, to sprawl. So you go here. Okay? And as you're here, now you're gonna use the outside leg to push. Okay, and then go for the take down. Okay. And notice that when I go for the take down and I'm here on this position. I'm pushing towards that direction, to the right. And I'm gonna stand up with this leg right here, okay? Outside of her leg, with my inner thigh. So I go here, okay? And now I use my knee to take her down, okay? And as she falls, I drop my knees on the floor. Okay, you don't need to like stand up like this, okay? So just like use your head, push, closing your elbow, and then you go like this, okay? And as you do this, you can bridge, and then drop her knee to the floor. Because then when your opponent falls, you're gonna be really close to your opponent, okay, to keep your opponent down, okay? Uh, you don't need to let go when your opponent falls. Uh, and that's the next technique you're gonna work, because when they get here, and I take her down, and I let go, she's gonna scramble and escape. Right? So I got here, I gotta take her down, and I gotta maintain the grips. Okay? So that way it's harder for her to stand up. It's kinda like I'm doing a leg drag, see? Right here. Now Rafael tried to push me, I keep her back on the floor, and then I start climbing her body here, okay? and then I'll go chest and chest. There's two ways for me to take down. 
One is just like what I showed you right here. Like lifting this way, like squatting and going to the, to the takedown. Or if you feel your opponent is heavier than you, you're gonna keep your elbows locked, try to align the knees still. And then you're gonna put this knee on the floor, like this, and you're gonna spin like that, okay? Let's say I'm here, my opponent is fighting, trying to sprawl. I'm just gonna change it like this. Okay, and then I take now. Now, on this one here, I'll be more like, with her legs between my legs. Then I can start applying like side smash in order to keep her on bottom. Okay, you can go for side smash on this one. Because when the, the opponent falls, you're gonna feel like her legs will be between her legs, okay? So the first one is here, pushing, standing up the leg with the elbows closed. Don't forget to squeeze the knees of your opponent. Every time you grab the leg, close, okay? And then you push, and then you're gonna bridge using the inner thigh, falling with the legs, with the hands like locked, linked, okay? Applying the pressure on your point. The second one is the same thing, but let's say if your opponent is heavier than you, you're gonna drift like a car. You know in the car like drift? So it's just like this. So you're gonna drop this on the floor and then drift to this leg. So you go like this, okay? Because that way when you, when you spin like this, you bring your opponent to the empty spot. Your opponent is like putting the weight on you. And when you change direction, they fall here. Okay? So I'll get here. She's like fighting with me, right? I'll drift like this. Okay? So again, when you, when you, when you drop right here, okay, I'll pivot and then I'll drop. Okay, I'm ready to shoot. Okay? I'm just putting her head down. As she stand up, I'll shoot. Okay? Right here. Keep close. Climb, 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 climb. Okay? So you're gonna climb the upper body. Because if you just focus on the leg, your opponent will start like pushing you. I just focus here. She's gonna push me. Sit up, sit up. Like this and start taking the legs out. Okay? You see that with my arms, go below her knee, she's gonna escape. So I need to keep, climb the hip, climb the shoulders until I get chest on chest. Like keep putting my pressure right there. Always tip of her toes on the floor so you can use the grip of the, on the floor to push against your opponent, okay? Uh, this will work really well when your opponent is stepping forward, okay? It's stepping forward. So we're not gonna do that if my opponent is stepping back. Step back like this. I'm not gonna do this like when my opponent is walking backwards, okay? So if I want my opponent to move forward, walk backwards like this, okay? I use my head to push her. Then she push back. That's when I change the level, shoot and take her down, okay? All right? That's one. So here, if your opponent is already squared up right here, you just go here. If the leg is too far, you need to make your opponent move. Okay. Use both ways and see which one is, is better for you. But don't forget to lock your elbow. I think like there's a, we should like start working with exercises like that. We use this a lot in Jiu Jitsu. If you like lift weights, like just do like a rubber band. It's just like, we use this a lot, you know? So there's no such a thing, right? We usually like work out like this only, or like this. But it's, it's the opposite of this. The shoulder elevation is like squeezing down. And there's nothing, no, no, no exercise in, in uh, strength conditioning that people do this, right? So you need like constantly like, do this, squeeze. When you have this squeeze, will help your choke, will help your seat belt, will help your takedowns, will help your body locks. You need this, okay? And naturally, just because you train Jiu Jitsu, 
for like three years maybe, two years, one year, you already have this strength. But we can improve always, right? Then the best way is like thinking about it. All right? Uh, doing exercises or drilling a lot like this, like those type of double legs or squeezing or putting when you can't see the guard. You guys have any question? Yes? No, I wait for her to go up. Yeah. yeah. I wait for her to go up. And actually her opponent will go up. So her opponent doesn't wanna doesn't wanna keep like this. You know? Because if my opponent doesn't go up, let's say I go here and my opponent doesn't go up, I can go like for ankle picks, you know. But usually when you when you go here, your opponent wants to like go up and then you just shoot. Okay? Because your opponent doesn't want to be with the hands the hands on the floor too. If I feel my opponent Put the hands on the floor, put your hands on the floor, both hands, and then I'm gonna start attacking the neck. I go for guillotine, headlocks, and things like that. But usually they try to stand up. Another detail really important too is when you shoot your chest, okay? So you go you don't go like with your chest facing down. So you always like posture here, okay? Very important. Alright? Let's work on that one should be. Go. Guys, one thing really important, uh, I'm not like snapping down, I'm not doing this. Okay. Like going the hands down and keep myself up, okay? So I am changing my level here. As I'm forcing her to go down, I change my level, I'm ready to shoot. When she pops up, I just, I just go for the shot, okay? Really fast. That's why we warm up like with this drill here, because this is a, a penetration step, okay? So as we squat, your four knee goes in the middle, and the knee that's the leg that's behind you go on the side. Ready, like to stand up this way. Okay, busy your your head. Okay. So um, we are working grabbing uh, collar tie right here. Okay, clubbing our opponent, and we're here. Okay, on this position. Right. So it's very important to do this uh, really fast. And understand that. When you change your level here, you need to concentrate the weight of your opponent, especially on this leg. You want this leg closer because that's the side you, you're going to have your head, okay? So if you, she takes this leg back, which is like back, she's going to be farther than me, okay? Uh, farther and I can uh, shoot, okay? The distance here is not the same. Yeah, just by this, okay, go back. So do your best to like, Lean her chest more on top of this leg. Try to step her leg back. It's a little bit harder for her to step her leg back. Okay? So if I go down and I keep the weight just like on this side, it's easier for her to move the leg, you see? So I go more on this side. And then I shoot. Okay, so I, I grab the knees. Right here I'm ready to, like, to drift or to stand up. Okay? I'm in a nice posture here. So make sure... This leg is closed. That's why when this leg is back, which is like this, like that. So when the leg is there, I don't shoot right here because I feel like it's too far, okay? So I need to make her step and then I'll be like closer to her, okay? Um, another way you can do the, sh the, the shot right here, it's like this. Let's say your opponent um, put one arm here, like put your thumb in my, on my bicep, like this, right? So if she's like grabbing me here, okay, even though I'm trying to club, that this happens a lot. Uh, you club and then you have the hand like this, okay? And now try to grab me this arm so it's hard, right? So if I'm here and she grabs my bicep here, I gotta control her elbow, okay? And keep my forehead right here on her neck, on her collarbone, okay? And then I go with the other hand right behind her elbow. And then I kinda gonna break her, her uh, thumb. I'm gonna bring my shoulder in and then I'll bring her to me like this. Okay, so I'm bringing her form on my bicep like this, okay? This is very important to do too because if I disconnect my head from Rafaela here, like this, 
Now she can snap me down really hard. She can move me around because my head is moving here. And when I move my head like this, and actually like she moves my head, I got like off balance, okay? So the best way for you to keep composed right here is having your head really tight against her collar, collarbone right here. Try to move me around. Now I'm like, I'm connected with the her. And it's harder for her to snap me down as well. Okay, so I'm here. So what I'm gonna do now is the same shot, but I'm not gonna shoot when she's moving backwards. Okay? So when I go here, I'm gonna push with my head and she'll push back, push back. Like this. Okay, that's when I'm gonna sh shoot. Okay, when I feel like she's pushing back, that's when I'm gonna shoot, okay? So how am I gonna do that? I'm just gonna drop the knee behind me here, okay? And I'll change the level. And now, I'm gonna open her elbow and pass my head right under her armpits like this, okay? It's gonna be like this. So I'm here, I go like this. Okay. <clears throat> I can go for a double leg shot, and then from here, from back, from here, okay? If I feel like her leg is still wide open, I like to go with this hand on her thigh, and then I twist her muscle, okay? Her thigh. You see that I make her knee go closer to the other knee. And then I I'll take her now. Okay? Stand up. <laughs> She doesn't want to fall anymore. So I'm here. She grabs inside. I'm going to control here. Look. Now I'm going to put my shoulder in and then I'll, I'll bring her form on my bicep. I'll push. Now I'm going to just change the level and I'll pass my head. Look. I'll pass my head under her, her armpits. It's going to look like this. I can do a shoot like that too. Yeah, I can shot like that, shoot like that. Okay. Right here. Again. But what is important here is this. Okay. Like breaking her grip. Okay. And then you push her here. Another thing really important, it's your shoulder movement. Okay? So when you shoot, you don't go like this, straight. You see? You're gonna twist your shoulder, okay? When you duck, uh, get the other thunder. So I go over here, I go like this. <laughs> See? So now I'm right here. Right here, I can start oh, elevating from here, or like start going to her back, or even like change for, for the double leg. Glue the knees, drift, boom, and then take her down. Okay? That's that thing Okay? Um, if you feel like comfortable, Going for a double leg, go ahead. But if you feel more comfortable going for a high C, go for a high C, okay? The way you change the level here is just like bringing this leg down. And at the same time, you get a duck under. And now as you duck under, you're gonna step this leg here, okay? And bring the person over you with this hand, like really hard. Like you, you bring her towards you, and you go against the person. Against in this case, I go against half a. Okay? And then here, so I push, and then she pushes me back. Try to snap me down. I just stay here with my head like really close to her. And then I go. So now I'm ready to finish my takedown. Okay. Very important to open her elbow. Okay. As I change my level. Open her elbow and then pass my head right underneath of her. Okay, and see my chest still like up. Okay. One more time, fast. She grabs. See, like this is very important. She grabs and go here. Okay. Try to move me around. I just stay in a nice space. So it seems like her arms are over. Her hands are over my tricep and neck. So I. There's no dangers of her shooting me, but because my hands are underneath of her, it's so easy for me to shoot. Much, much easier, okay? So you're gonna fight to keep both of her hands over you, over your arms, okay? So when she push back, that's when you go, yes. 
So you should push back here. That's when you go. And work to keep the knees together. Okay? Okay? Alright? Okay, let's work. One, two, three. One thing really important is understanding that when I'm grabbing on his tricep here, okay, and he's grabbing my, my, my bicep and then I go behind his other tricep, so I need to push my forehead against his collarbone and bring his arms to me. So I'm, I'm like, bring him to me. Okay, I'm pulling him with my arms and pushing with the head. And I need to be like this the whole time to protect my neck, okay? And when I shoot too, Look at the difference. If I shoot with my shoulder down, he's gonna get the neck here. Okay, I go back. But if I shoot like this, it's harder for him to grab my neck. Okay? So you gotta used to like do this, okay? Because this will protect your neck. Even when you go for a blast double two, you cannot go with the shoulders like this because your, your neck can twist, okay? So you go like this. So you build the muscles around your neck. So now you're strong to, to use your head, okay? So now what you're gonna do here, we're gonna work on both techniques, but a little bit faster. Okay, so the first one I got here, right? I make a pivot, I change the level, you do that pop up. I should close the elbows, okay? I can drift or take him down here, okay? There's two ways for me to control him before I climb up, okay? I need to know that. I'm only gonna climb up if my thigh goes underneath of his of his uh, leg, okay, like a leg drag. I call this mini leg drag. Because uh, the regular leg drag, you're like more standing. The mini leg drag, you just use the leg under with your knees on the floor still, okay? Uh, when I'm here, if I feel like I can shovel my, my leg underneath of him, um, I can start like climbing up on his hip, okay? <coughs> so just like climbing like a palm tree, like you're going up up until you got double unders, or grab his head, or keep the chest over his chest, okay? So you just start climbing up. You need to climb up the hip. At the end of the day, that's where you want to control. You want to get the body lock, okay? Let's stand up here. Let's say, imagine, uh, this is the floor, okay? His back is on the floor. So I got, it, I got it right here, okay? Like with my hands below his butt. I need to go with my hands over his butt. And then my chest start going up, up, up until I get the upper body, okay? So don't keep below the, the butts the whole time. Lay down. So as you take him down, he's gonna be here, okay? So if I can keep my leg underneath of his leg, great. I'm ready to start climbing up. But sometimes your opponent will escape the hips and face to you, like this, okay? So when that happens, you need to know what to do here. Okay, I can still grab his leg, but I'll be more like on his knees right now here. Okay, and if I put my head on this side and don't move, he's gonna give it to me. Okay, and then I'm in a bad spot. Okay, <laughs> so I need to go with this leg over. I staple his leg here. Every time my opponent can face to me, I staple. I staple his leg. Okay, with my my. Near side leg, okay, the leg that's closer to his leg, okay? So as I staple his leg here, now I can start like change, now I can change my hand. So now if he goes for the guillotine on me, I can go to the other side as a windshield wiper. Now I have the leg drag again, you see? I have the leg drag on this side, okay? So he's understanding like finishing the takedown, changing the level, penetration step, locking the elbows, using the drift or standing up, and then after you take down, so now you gotta control the situation. And there's different reactions. If you feel your leg is underneath of your opponent, then you work on the leg drag and start climbing the palm tree, right? You climb up. But if you escape the hip and you feel his hips away from you and your thigh is no longer underneath of his leg, you staple the leg, okay? So again, I just take him down and I feel like my leg is underneath of him, great. I can climb the palm tree, okay? I start climbing up. But if you escape the hip, immediately I need to do this. Staple, change my hand, and then we should wipe it. And now I have the leg drag on this side, and then I climb up the palm tree on the other side. 
You see the difference? Okay? Because if I'm here, and that happens a lot, okay? So if I'm here skating face to me, like this, and I keep here, he's gonna escape. You know, you're gonna lose the takedown. Okay? You need to stay where he's like. Alright? So I got here. He escaped the hips. Immediately I start using this leg here. Look. I just need to staple the top leg. Okay? Don't need to worry about both legs. Just staple the top leg and squeeze your knee against him. So now you gotta do I cannot jump and we should wipe with the head on this side because he can kill it to me. And that'll be a huge problem. So your head can never be on the same side that you're walking. Okay? So if I got here, as I'm going that way, my head goes inside. I, I need to change my head. And now I have no problem if you get the guillotine because I'm on the side control. And then it's not gonna be as strong as having the head on the same side. You got it? So do the full takedown and take a pause after your takedown. Take a pause, get the leg drag, climb up the tree, right? Or take a pause, let your opponent escape the hip, staple, change the head, go to the other side. Start slow, and then later on, we're gonna do some specific training on starting like from this position here. Okay? It uh, happens a lot, okay? Right here. You got in this position, and if you, if you keep your forearms on the hamstring right here, on the thighs, you're not gonna control for a long time. You need to understand that you need to go with your tri uh, bicep and tricep here, so then you can bring his hip close to you and makes everything harder for him to, to stand up or sit up. Because now it start, my chest starts going to, towards his chest. You see, now once my chest is on top of his chest, he can't sit up, okay? And of course, in the nogi, I'll do my best to link my hands, okay? Between this and this, uh, this one here is way better. So between this and that, it's better to always link your hands. So as you're going here, your opponent starts bridging, then use the bridge to link your hands. You know, and then you can, once you are controlling his upper body and no longer your forearm is under his, uh, uh, your forearms are not under his, uh, his butt, it's great. You're doing great. The problem is when your arm goes in. That's bad, okay? And you see if you start escaping, then you staple. Yes, and then start moving to his back. And that can happen too. As you move into the other side, he can sit up, but you're always gonna get the back, okay? It's way better than stay on that side, all right? So let's work on that. Keep working on the takedowns as fast as you can, okay? Yes, Jason. When you have that body block, you try to bridge forward, it's a little bit harder to climb up, because you know he has his weight on one of the arms. Uh, when my, my arms are under the, the, the lower back, yeah. it's okay. That's what I want. Because it, it makes this bridge like, like short bridge. He goes like, <laughs> if, if my form is not underneath of him, then he has like a really big bridge. And then like higher he can lift his hips, more he can move you. But when you grab under here, it's way more control, okay? All right? And then you take advantage every time he moves, you move a little bit up, a little bit up, you know? All right, let's go, one, two, three.